Hey you guys, thanks for coming to check out today's video. This video is sponsored by Ebony Line. Thank you so much Ebony Line for sending over this wig. Now let's jump right into this new review. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new upload. Let's get into this main concept unit called Bia 24 inches. <laughs> on my channel. I just recently reviewed the regular main concept, Bia. It was a very popular wig in 2017, so they decided to come out with it in 24 inches, and this is the wig. If you want to see my original Bia review, I'll link it up here somewhere, so you can go ahead and click that and check it out, but definitely finish watching this video first. Um, she has a middle part, which looks very good. All I did was add some powder. Um, I I didn't even bother adding any baby hairs on this unit. I didn't feel like it was necessary and neither did I feel like it was necessary on the original Bia either. What I will say about this unit is that it feels like it's a lot thicker than um, the other Bia and it feels like um, the layers are like very, very long. I feel like the layers could be um, a little better layered in this wig, I'll be honest. I think I may add some more layers to this wig. Only because she feels very thick right now. And I think adding more layers would just help to shear her down. <laughs> a little bit more layers helps her to feel not so heavy I'm gonna go ahead and brush her out now that I added a few more layers and we'll compare one side to the other all right so this is the side with the layers and yeah I mean I see a little slight difference Maybe not a whole, whole lot, but I do see some difference. So I'm going to go ahead in and do this side as well, and I will be right back. Okay, so here we are, guys, back at it, and this is the final result. I did add some of my Carol's Daughter. It's the Hair Milk. It's a refresher spray, basically like a leave-in conditioner, just to add a little bit more definition to the waves and I really do like this unit. This unit has like a yakky feel to it that I definitely like. She feels a lot like Bia um, but I just think it's a lot more hair to manage than the original wig. I think that length was perfect and those waves were bomb. They did recreate the wave pattern. This wig reminds me a lot of the GLS 20 by um, Friday Night Hair but that wig tangled up on me like really really bad and this wig doesn't feel like it's going to do that so I would definitely suggest this one over the GLS 20. Um, if you haven't seen that review I'll leave it here. It was more just like a show and tell because I didn't really talk about the hair too much in that video but I would definitely prefer this one over that one. So anyway you guys make sure you go check out Ebony Line. They do have this wig available in several colors. This is the main concept be a wig in 24 inches. I'll leave a link to where you can purchase down in the information box down below. Make sure you're following me on all my social media at Just the Dragoness and on Snapchat at Just the Dragoness with only one S at the end. Check out my wig store at www.justthedragoness.com and make sure you stay tuned for the slow mos. Hello. 